Measuring reactive phosphorus. Step one, open the pack and set up with both tubes on your left. Step two, unfold the color card and introduce it into the slit at the lower right hand end of the plastic box. Rinse the test tubes with the sample three times then fill them to the 20 mil mark. Step four, add 10 drops of reagent P1A into the sample tube closest to the person testing. Replace the lid and mix. Step five, add one micro spoon of reagent P2A to the sample tube. Replace the lid and mix to dissolve. Step six, mix the solution for two minutes to allow full color development, especially in cold weather. Slide the card through the left until the closest possible color match is achieved between the two open tubes viewed from above. Read off the value shown on the scale at the upper right hand edge of the plastic box. If you notice that your sample is too blue or well above 0.14 milligrams per litre, you'll need to dilute your sample. Results will vary between different waterways, so you may need to change your dilution ratios. For example, you may use a 1 to 2 ratio or a 1 to 5 ratio. In this example, we're going to dilute the sample one to five, which means we're gonna add 10 mil of the sample to 40 mils of distilled water in a 50 mil measuring cylinder. And now your sample is ready to retest. Tips and tricks. Allow maximum sunlight to shine into the tubes when reading the concentration levels. Filter sample if turbidity levels are over 30 NTUs. If the sample has been filtered, be sure to record these details in the comment section on the data sheet. Filtration with Wattman number 41 filter paper will eliminate gross suspended material. Ensure that the color is allowed to develop over two minutes, especially when the ambient temperature is below 10 degrees. Colder temperatures can slow the chemical reaction Analyze the solution as soon after sampling as possible. Do not clean reagent bottles and test tubes with detergents that contain phosphates. Color card comparators should be looked after or laminated to last. Contact your local WaterWatch facilitator if you get unusual results.